Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your EC2 instance setup with user data script, which means I will show you how to launch an instance using a user data in AWS EC2. So right now I'm in my AWS console and I'm going to click on the launch instance option. So user data is used for bootstrapping your instances and there are a lot of advantages to it. If you want some packages to be installed, whenever you launch your instance, you can use user data. So if I go to the definition by AWS, so if I type in user data, AWS here, here you can see AWS user data is a set of commands uh, slash data you can provide to an instance at the launch time uh, so that you can download packages or software that you want and you should be ready to work with it. You don't have to SSH into instance, you can just put the user data and all the scripts or the commands that you have entered will be uh, will be executed whenever you launch the instance. So I'm going to click on launch an instance and I'm going to name this my first server and it's going to be Amazon Linux T2 Micro key pair I'm going to add a key pair EC2 key network settings I want it to be in default I want to have a web security security group that has port 80 enabled so I have the security group which has port 80 enabled because I want to test out my user data script and in the advanced details if you scroll down at the bottom you'll see user data where you can either input your script or if you have a file stored in your machine you can also do that but now let's go and write down our script so to write a script it starts with shebang or slash and exclamation mark slash bin slash bash then I want to first update all the packages so yum update hyphen y and then I want to install apache web server or httpd web server yum install hyphen y httpd so this is the command to install apache web server so whenever I launch the instance with the user data script I want the apache web server to be installed next I want to start this service so service httpd start and enable this so that whenever if I stop the instance and start it again the service should be automatically started so system ctl enable httpd and lastly so I want to show a message so I'm going to type in echo command echo and in heading I want this is my first instance using user data script okay and in this h1 tag and put this inside the slash var slash www slash html and index.html so whatever message you have on this index.html is going to be showed on your web page so now we have created a script which is going to update all the packages then install HTTP web server start that web server and enable it so this is a sample script but you can do anything you want with the user data script if you have the commands for it so I'm going to launch this instance and this instance should have all of these things mentioned so I'm going to click on launch instance so launch an instance so let's wait for this to come up now it's in a pending state we will wait for it to come up and then we will be pasting this uh, inside the browser and we should see the message that was this is my first instance using user data so I'm going to pause this video and come back when it is ready now my instance now my instance so I am back and now my instance is running so I'm going to copy this IP and paste it in the new tab if I paste this in a new tab I see the message which is this is my first instance using user data script which means without we going into the instance and running the command it is it has installed Apache web server and it has shown us this message which is which means our user data is working perfectly fine so if you're doing this and you get an error message uh, show any error message make sure you have the security group with port 80 enabled and you, you are using HTTP not HTTPS because you don't have SSL here so let's go ahead and try to launch an instance with a different user data script so I'm going to go and click on launch instance option and second instance it's going to be Amazon Linux T2 Micro key pair EC2 key and I'm going to use the same security group because I have port enabled so web for CG 
and then in the user data section I can pass in my script so your script can be anything you want so whatever task you want to do using the user data should be there in the script so now I'm going to paste a script which will be is to install Apache and show us this PHP info page so PHP info page is something like this like this is what you would get if you check your PHP info dot PHP page so I've, this user data is going to install all the package then install the lamp server MariaDB database and PHP 7.2 all these commands so I'm going to launch the instance so now you have learned how to create an instance using user data but let's say you want to edit any user data that you have already created you can click on the instance stop it first and then go to the actions and here you can go to instance settings and here you have an option to edit the user data so you can edit the user data by stopping it first so make sure your instance is stopped completely before you can edit your instance data you can make a change here and then your user data will be changed okay so I instance in running state right now and if I paste this IP in a new tab so I'm going to paste the IP in a new tab and I would get the test page for Apache which means Apache has been successfully installed and if I type in the path which is going to be php info dot php it should show me the php info page which is this which means our instance has been successfully configured using the user data script if you want to double check you can go and connect to the instance and see if the HTTP service or MariaDB whatever you have defined in the user data is installed or not so I'm going to check if my HTTP is installed or not so let's wait for this to establish a connection and if I type in which HTTPD okay sorry which HTTP is going to show me that the HTTP is in this path which means it is installed even if I check the command sudo system ctl status HTTP it says it's running which means HTTP is installed and our instance has been successfully launched using user data script so I hope you have understood this video and you got you have now the knowledge of how to launch an instance using user data script so please like this video and subscribe to this channel also check out for more cloud and DevOps videos thank you